Hello lovers, I'm going to be showing you how um how to make a lightening whitening moisturizing product today. So first of all, I'll be introducing you to our um, raw materials. This is my vegetable glycerin. You all know what glycerin does. This is my Zandagon. Zandagon is a thickener, and um my alpha butin powder, a whitening powder that we can use to lighten the skin. This is my saffron, saffron. I wanted to use it to infuse, to infuse in water. This is propylene glycol, very good also on the skin. This is my liquid jama plus, a preservative. This is my sunflower oil, a carrier oil. This is was. This is my steric acid. You know what steric acid does, right? This is my settle alcohol. It's also like a thickener. My vitamin E oil. My essential oil, lavender essential oil. Scale. Mixing bowl with almond oil in it. This is my picker. My steri my steri rod hand blender or stick blender, whichever one you call it, for blending and mixing, and of course my scale again. <laughs> so these are the important things we are going to be using to make the product today. So first of all, I'm going to start by measuring out our items. This is my mango and shea butter. We've already measured it out. So we are going to be measuring the remaining items out. It's good that whatever you want to do, you should always write it in a paper. Whatever formula you want to do, always write it in a paper so that you copy it from the paper. I'm not doing this from my head. I have a paper there. So as you can see, I'm measuring out the oil face. And like I said, I taught you before, we have oil face and water face. So everything that I can dilute in oil is called oil face. And as you can see, that is what I'm doing right here. I'm measuring them out and you have to check your skill, you know. Anytime you lift the bowl up and put it back, you have to turn the scale back to zero again, see? You have to turn the scale to zero so that whatever you are adding can start counting from zero. So I'll be measuring out my e-wax now to the oil face, of course. So do it gently. You have to be very careful. This is measured in grams. Then please don't use tap water to do to make your products. Always use distilled water. So now I have my oil face and water face and I'll be taking it to the gas inside a hot water, inside a pot with hot water to do the double boiling. So I'm still measuring, I'm still measuring them out while the water is on the fire. I'll just take them and go and add to them to the one in the hot water on the fire. Though I use crook pots when I'm making large quantity, but for the purpose of this class, that is why I'm using a double boiling method. So it's very important that we do that. You don't need to stress yourself and let it always be on the low heat. It's advisable it's always on the low heat. And me, anytime I'm making a product like this, I use, I use spraying alcohol to sterilize everything. I didn't know I didn't show that part because I asked my girl to do it before I came. So I use set, uh, spraying alcohol to sterilize everything of the bowl, the blender, everything I'm going to use to avoid jams. So after measuring out everything now, you take it and add to the one inside on the fire.
this is my Xander gum. I'm trying to measure out my Xander gum because it's a very small quantity. That's why I'm using this small container. So Xander gum is a thickener. It gives the product this slippery, you know, kind of look and feeling on the skin also. That is why I like adding it to my product. It's not, if not, I have cyclic alcohol and steric alcohol there already, but I actually love adding Xander gum to it. So that is it. I'm going to be using glycerin to dilute my Xander gum because um, I noticed that anytime I use water, it gives it lumps. So you see, after using glycerin, it's smooth and it can be used very, very well. So, like I said, I told you that I'll be taking the water and oil for double boiling. This is double boiling. There's the water in the pot. And then, I, then the oil phase and water phase are inside the water in the pot. So I covered them. This thing I did, I just covered it so that it, the water will not evaporate out. And I'm using my thermometer now to check the temperature of my water. So I went in and the oil... I will check both of them so that when it gets to 75 degree Celsius, I will be able to mix them together. It has to get to a particular degree Celsius so that I will be able to mix them together. I don't know, some people said 100 degrees, but I've never let my product get to 100 degrees. I'll let it at 75 degrees, I'll just mix them together. And you know all those things, those cetyl alcohol, steric alcohol in the oil phase have all melted. But I really wanted it to get to the 75 degrees. See, this one is almost there. Once you bring it out, it starts pulling down. That's why it's reducing, but it's actually close to 75 degrees already. So we'll just cover it back and keep doing other things while you come back later to keep checking them. Now I've brought it down. I'm adding my Xander gum inside the water phase, hot water phase, so that it could dilute very well and I can mix it with the oil phase. It's very important you do this so as to make not to avoid lumps because small thing now this and that will start causing lumps inside your product. So I'm using my hand blender to even blend it very well. Now I'm adding my oil face to my water face. This is what I'm doing. So you keep blending so as to make it blend very well. So people use Wisco, like me, I started with Wisco when I started organics. I was using Wisco before I got this um, stick blender. But it's very good, you get stick blender for a start. Gone at those days, I'm talking about five years ago. So please, for a start, get your stick blender. It's not expensive, at least. You can get for like 6K, 7K. So you keep blending very well to make sure everything blends together. And the sweet part of it is as it's getting cool, it gets it gets thicker and um it gets um more beautiful. That container was too small, so I'm adding it to a bigger I, I turned it to a bigger container. Sorry, please. That one you are seeing there's the remaining Xander gum in that small plate. I was just adding the remaining one to the product. So now I'm going to be measuring out my whitening powders, which is um cool down face. I'm going to be measuring it out and don't think I used extra water to dilute this powder. I fetched from the same water, measurement of water I was supposed to use for this product. Let's say I was supposed to use 100 grams of water. I used, I, I, I fetched 30 grams to dilute the remaining whitening powders. So in all the quantity of water measured is still the same quantity of water I got in. No extra water added. So that is what I'm saying. This is like one of these the water I fetched, I reduced from the overall water. I did not pour all into the oil phase. I did not mix all with the oil. So now I'm trying to dilute my alpha butene. Alpha butene is soluble in water. So that's why I'm diluting it. You can add any kind of whitening ingredients you want. Just know what is soluble in, whether in water or oil, and know the pH of what and what. So I'm checking the temperature of my product now. It's 34 degrees Celsius, which is okay for the cool down phase for me to start adding my whitening powders. And that is what I'm doing now. Any pro anything you add to your product, you blend. You see, as it's getting cool, 
it's getting thicker. As it's getting cool, it's getting, it will even become very thick after everything has eventually cooled down. Now I'm adding my preservative. This is liquid German plus, as you can see. I'm adding my essential oil. I don't know. Some people, after adding essential oil, they don't like adding fragrance. For me, I add essential oil and I still have little quantity of fragrance just to give it, you know, beautiful fragrance. Though sometimes adding other things might overshadow the fragrance because some people, are, some people get irritation when fragrance is too much. So that's what I'm doing. I'm adding, 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 you know. I added um, this thing. The alpha I put in in it. This is my vitamin E oil. As you can see. Vitamin E oil is very good. It gives the skin the glowy you want. Some people don't like adding vitamin E oil when the product is cool. I don't know. Maybe for their own reason. But I prefer to add my vitamin E oil when the product is cool because vitamin E oil can be added to an, um, an end product already. Some people so don't like not? adding um, fragrance add after that adding that essential oil. So, but before you add whatever it is, you are always measuring it out. Sorry for the mistake. Always measure it out. And whatever you so add, that's what I'm blending. blend it together. So you just keep blending, blending, you know. And you will see how the product will come out very beautiful. You don't even need to panic. Actually, making a product is not hard though. It's just getting it right. And there's no harm in trying. You keep trying new, new things every day. That is how you get to improve. It's not everything that is going to be taught in the class. But they will give you the basics. Like me, nobody gave me all these things I'm giving you. So now this is my vitamin three, vitamin B3 powder, my, uh, my, my vitamin B3, also known as niacinamide, my liquid rice powder, it's also good for the skin. So all this whitening powder, by the time you combine all these whitening powders, it's going to make the product more effective and it will work better on the skin. And it's very mild on the skin, this product will clear spot. So for you to check the pH of your product, you fetch small quantity of your product and the distilled water, dilute it and put in your pH meter, your pH strip to check. So now the thing is going from 4.8 to 5.3. 5.3 is the end of the pH. That was what I got, which is very okay on the skin. So this is the end of it. If you love this, share, like, and subscribe to my channel. So this is for a class I made it, but I'll be posting it later. So this is how the product is like. That's not even cooled down yet. Like it's still a bit warm. When it cools down, it will be thicker than this. Thank you for watching.